If you are looking for a way to set advanced conditions in Elementor, where you can choose different triggers that changes the visibility of the elements, then this video is for you. I will use Elementor and Dynamic Content for Elementor add-on to toggle between two elements with the click of a button. Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you don't know me, I'm Natalie from Sites with Natalie. If you want to support the channel, you just need to subscribe or hit the like button. In this channel, I talk about all things related to WordPress websites. We have a single toggle button with a pricing table element. Toggle between pricing tables, the user just has to click on the button. We are using dynamic visibility in combination with the user trigger event. One of the pricing table widget is hidden. It is revealed once the user clicks the button. As usual, I show you my plugins list. Dynamic content for Elementor add-on, the pro version to extend Elementor Pro functionalities. Elementor free and pro versions. If you are planning to buy a dynamic content license, please use my link, it's in the comment section below. In order to build up what you have just seen, it's important to check the dynamic feature settings. You access them by going to the Features tab. Inside Dynamic Add-on Settings, you can activate and deactivate the widgets and extensions you intend to use. Check if the Dynamic Visibility extension is enabled. The next move is to open up the About page, which is where we are going to build from scratch. This is my About page. Scrolling down, there is the dynamic visibility elements that I've shown you before. I want to build up with you from scratch, so I press the Delete button in order to begin fresh. First things first, I need to create the elements. I create one element or a column section to add the toggle button. I make some room by adding merging top and bottom. Much better now doing a quick search for the bottom widget. To insert it into Elementor Canvas, just select it and drag it to the canvas. Let's make some quick tweaks. The text is now a custom one. Assign a medium size. I also want to assign an icon. I use this dynamic library icon to choose this one. Adjust the icon spacing as well. For the second element, I create another Elementor section. Doing a quick search for a pricing table widget. Drag it to the canvas. OK. Before we dive into the, the technical configuration and in order to dif differentiate things, for the first pricing table, I set the heading text the description and the price. The next move is to select the bottom widget. In order to work properly, we need to set up a few things. In the link section, give it your custom name with a pound sign, no space, in between and in lowercase. For me, I have determined top with the hashtag. Select the advanced tab now. Under the CSS ID box, enter here the same selector without any sign. Now, select the pricing table widget. Do a right-click button to duplicate this element. Select now the second price table widget. I adjust the same items, the title, the description, then the price items in order to differentiate from the first one. In order to use these triggers, you have to activate Keep HTML in the base settings. Select the first table widget. I suggest you use the Elementor Navigator tool to help you select the right widget. To the advanced tab, assign your custom CSS class without the dots. I enter my custom one in a lowercase. Select the second pricing table and assign the same CSS class to it. For the first pricing, enable dynamic visibility under its tab. Enabled it. As I have just said before, in order to use these user trigger events, you also have to activate it. 
That's the basic setting you should enable. Under the Skip HTML section, also activate it by toggle on. Under the display mode is where you set to show or to hide the element within the dynamic visibility. I click on the eye sign to show it. Under the triggers section, you choose the event you want to use to trigger. I delete all of them. And then I click on the plus icon and I select the events from the drop down list. Once you select it, it is it opens up below a new section to set up the events type. Under event you can define between a click trigger event, a mouse over and more. To trigger on this element, I enter in jQuery format the top label with a hashtag symbol which I have assigned to the bottom. Remember? Under the height other elements, you also assign here in jQuery format the element you want to hide. I specify a num with a dot symbol. The last option you need to figure out is to enable this toggle option, enabling you to toggle between the two pricing tables. Update the changes. Let's check now on the front end if everything is working fine. Come back to your WordPress dashboard. Opening now at the My About page on the front end. First click Trigger Event. The two pricing tables are toggling on between the two. As you can see, using this Elementor and Dynamic combination, you extend your WordPress to the next level. If you have any questions, leave them on the comments down below. I will do my best to help you. Subscribe, hit the like button. Thank you very much.